Hi there, this is Sampath Ram. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can clone an image of the computer onto multiple computers. So, uh, there are many ways you can deploy the image onto the clients. One is through the server and another one is just using your hard drive. Access it and then you can deploy through the network switch. Network switch is mandatory. You cannot directly plug in the LAN connections and to the master computer and then do it. So you, in order to deploy on multiple systems, you will need uh, a network switch with the required number of ports. In this video, I'll be using a 24 port network switch, but I'm not using all of them. I'm using like 18 of them. So I made sure that each one is connected and the LAN is working properly before connecting to them. Uh, and then we need a software called Clonezilla. Clonezilla is open source and you can it you can download them for free. So what you will need is a DRBL Clonezilla server, which I have given the link in the description of this video. And also uh, you will need Tuxt Boot, T U T X T Boot. That software is used to make a bootable pen drive from an ISO, which is the DRBL live which, I've given, which I have given you in the description also. So now that we have those two, uh, the DRBL server ISO and the Tuxboot, you can use the Tuxboot software to put this ISO onto the pen drive instead of using a hard disk to just boot the Clonezilla server on, onto a particular machine. So let's get started. I have the Clonezilla installed, installed in the sense it's a bootable Clonezilla pen drive. So we turn on, boot through the USB drive, and then, as you can see from here, that the version of DRBL I'm choosing here is 2.3.16, which has almost all the bugs cleared. Before I was using a different version, like 2.1.6 or something, uh, it was not working, like for the multicast, it was showing me an error saying that uh, the hard disk partition cannot be changed. So, uh, in order to make sure you have your image is correct or not, or in the correct format, I have made an another video to create an image of a computer using the Clonezilla software. Check it out. The link is also in the description of this video. Coming to this video, choose the first option, DRBL Live. Press enter. And uh, you also want to make sure all these network switches are connected and also all the laptops are powered up. If it runs out of power, then you'll be in trouble because as it's multicasting, uh, every every computer should be connected to the network switch. Otherwise, it, the process won't initiate. So as you know that the multicasting is a parallel processor, you need everything to be to be working. So English is the default option. Most of the options in the software are like default ones. Uh, you don't need to change much. So and each and the the basic rule of using this is that it's very simple it's very easy to understand so as we are trying to deploy multiple computers uh, deploy the image onto multiple computers we are we have to use the clonezilla server so select it and then open it as you can see that video i'm using some computer as the master computer there i'm running all this uh, clonezilla server version and then this computer is connected to the network switch and as I'm not using a hard disk to, to deploy the image onto the computers. I have stored that image onto a different server, which I'm accessing through the local area connection. Uh, this local area connection goes to the local port, which I'm going to define soon. It's asking us the network configuration. It's a DHCP. Select DHCP. And then you should try to configure this network switch so that it can give access to each one of these ports which are connected. You also want to make sure you are not connecting the local area connection uh, to the other ports because this is a uplink port. Same, same mark. So I just connected the uplink port for the local area connection. So it's asking us to configure the network cost which we don't need. So I'm pressing no. And uh, this is regarding the IP address leasing to all the clients connected. So I just click no because it's, uh, it might, uh, if I press yes, then it means that 
I am giving IP address one after the other. So if I click no, then it will automatically allocate the IP address to all the clients which are connected to this switch. So I'm just clicking no. And as you can see from here, that only one network card with one IP address now creating an alias IP addresses to be used for the DRBL clients. So uh, this is actually uh, like a exact server which replicates the image onto all those through the network switch which are connected through the LAN. So uh, it's asking us to choose the image directory which I have saved. So as I told you before that I have saved the image onto a different server. So I'm choosing Samba server. If you have the image stored on the local local hard drive, then you can just choose local device and then it will ask you to choose the location where it is. So I'm choosing the Samba server. So it's asking me the credentials for it. Let me let me enter them. And then the account. And then the directory. Okay. Okay. So there we go. Press enter. It has, it has shown the di uh, correct directory. It's trying to load the image. It is very important to see how many clients you are trying to connect through this network port switch. Network switch. Uh, right now I have used 18 laptops that needs to be cloned. So I have chosen 18 ports which are going to them. And then one to this master computer and the other one to the, uh, the local area connection. So meanwhile let's see what's going on here. It is trying to allocate the IP address to one of each one of these ports which are connected to the switch, which are connected to the switch. Don't worry, just checking. So you don't need to panic once it shows failed or something. So this is all you need. It will it will uh, run all, everything by itself. So we are trying to deploy the image onto all clients. So click all clients and then go to expert mode the reason to choose this expert mode is that you have many options to choose if you if you don't know anything just click next 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 and it will be it will be just like a beginner beginner mode so uh, there are flexible options in expert mode so click expert expert mode and then as you're trying to deploy the image which is stored before uh, click restore disk restore disk is because I have created the image of the whole hard drive uh, out of the computer and hence I have chosen that. So uh, go to an option which says change MS Windows host name based on the MAC address. So select that option. Uh, it will benefit and save you a lot of time because you, you cannot go change the host name for every computer belonging in. So it can automatically assign the host name based on MAC address. So once you have selected that, click OK, then the default option OK, OK, and then click. it's your wish. You can choose whatever you want. Let me choose reboot. And then click OK. And then it's asking me to choose a default name uh, which follows for every computer. OK. And then click OK. And now the image is here. Click OK, multicast. It it asks us to clients to wait. Yeah. This you can see that uh, as I have told you before, clients time to wait, clients to wait. If you click clients to wait then every client should be connected. Until then the process won't initiate. So it's the best option because you that that's the only way you can make sure that your required computers are connected to the network or not. So, uh, in this case, we are cloning 18 computers. So, click OK. 
Uh, as, I, as I told you, this is a multicasting. You can do up to 100, so it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter if you choose less number of uh, less number of computers than the ports available in your network switch. So don't worry about that. Just select, uh, choose, uh, just find out how many ports are connected, like how m how many laptops you want to clone, or, or and then accordingly enter the number here. So this is just the default option to choose the range. So click enter, enter again. Now it's starting the service. Yep, we're all set. Let's go to each one of the computers and then power them up. You have to, uh, you remember that you have to boot through the network. Only then you can get the access to the TRBL server to, de to, to get the image deployed onto the computer. So boot through the network. It will, so it's starting now. Yep. As you can see there, it's trying to uh, just press the default option because you already selected that multicast restore. Just select the default option, press enter, and then it will start. Okay, let's do this on the computers. Or let me do that and then pause the video. I'm still wasting your time. I've turned on all of them, put it through the network. As you can see that just a blank blue screen. And just wanted to show you the I'm turning on to the last eighteenth one. Turn on boot through network. Just to show you how it will look look like. I'm just going through all of the process. Network and then it would detect. So until all 18 laptops are connected, every every computer will have the same screen. Just showing that it is trying to restore the device SD1. So here it is logged on to, to the network. Then this is how it, it has been in all the all of the computers. So all are connected and the process would initiate immediately. See, every system has got initiated. That's all. That's all you need to do. Let's go check it out. And all computers, every, every computer will be the same. This one is still trying to connect it. Starting to restore the image. Once all the laptops are connected, then on every computer the process will initiate it. So as we have selected reboot, and the laptop will be rebooted, that's all. I hope this video helps a lot. Thank you very much for watching. Do subscribe my channel for more updates. Don't forget to check out my other videos in this playlist. I hope you find them helpful. They're really worth watching. Have a good one. Bye-bye.